Welcome to the John and Heidi Show podcast. John and Heidi. Here's John and Heidi. Today is a special day, Heidi. Do you know what today is? What is today, John? Uh, I thought you'd never ask. It's Thursday, the 16th day of February. Today is National Almond Day, which I'm a fan of. I like almonds. Yeah. Our son does not like them. I don't know why. He just doesn't. Said he doesn't like the texture. It's also National Do a Grouch a Favor Day. So I'm going to teach our son to like almonds. <laughs> no? Okay. Uh, and that is it. It's just those two things. And uh, it is a Thursday, so we have a Dear John letter. And this was sent to me earlier this week. Uh, it's from a person who spent another Valentine's Day single. And they're on a dating app. And now they matched with a former classmate who used to bully them. And that classmate sent them a message, and they're wondering how they should take it from here. So if you would like to chime in, I posted it. I think it might have been posted on Valentine's Day at Facebook.com slash John and Heidi Show. And we will answer the Dear John letter coming up later in the program. Thanks for listening on a Thursday. Do you ever get credit card offers in the mail? Those are usually the worst offers. They spend thousands of dollars mailing them to anyone with an address. The people who actually read their junk mail end up paying the price in the long run. At BetterCreditCards.com, we offer a variety of credit card options to fit your needs. Whether you want a credit card to give you cash back or points and perks or a credit card to help you build your credit, we probably have it at BetterCreditCards.com. Give yourself a little credit. BetterCreditCards.com. Now, surveys and studies and such brought to you by BetterCreditCards.com. Having a limp handshake might be a sign of early death, according to a new study. How limp is this handshake? (laughs) University of Michigan did the study. Their study links grip strength to a higher risk of age-related chronic disease, including cancer. The researchers found that having a a weak grip could be a sign of overall muscle weakness, a factor known for many degenerative diseases. So here's the thing. I don't know how accurate you could possibly be with a study like this because there's some people when you shake their hand they shake your hand way too hard i mean i used to work with a guy like when you would shake his hand you could hear bones crunching like that's I've too got a much pretty sh- strong you do you got a strong handshake, handshake. and i've sh- i've shaken hands with people where their hand is just like limp like yeah dead fish it drives handshake. me crazy yeah that's not good but that doesn't necessarily mean they're gonna die <laughs> so i've got a link to the study if you want to read the details in the show notes for today at johnandheidyshow.com. If your plan for the new year involves getting your financial life in order, I suggest you start with your mobile phone bill. How much do you pay every month? If that number is more than 15 bucks, it's time for a Mintervention. Mint Mobile makes it affordable and easy to switch. Get a new phone or bring your current phone at mintervention.com. You can see the current special offers from Mint Mobile, offering premium wireless for just $15 a month. That's far less than most people are paying, just $15 a month. Learn more now at mintervention.com. That's Mintervention.com. Did you know? Brought to you by RadioTravelGroup.com. Heidi, did you know a 2017 study found that the key to feeling younger is acting younger and maybe even silly once in a while? Researchers in the UK polled adults on the effects of nostalgia and youthful behavior on mental and physical health. Nearly three quarters of respondents indicated that occasionally forgetting that you're an adult, tapping into a more immature mindset, maybe watching old cartoons, pulling pranks on friends, playing classic bar, uh, board games, they think that was important for their health. Also effective, the simple act of just being silly by imitating others or making goofy faces or blowing bubbles through a straw. They're saying all of those things can help you feel younger. Do you agree? Sure, yeah. That's absolutely. probably why we feel so young. Because we're, we're so silly. We are silly. We're such kooky Except kids. For I'm, I'm aching on every joint in my body. <laughs> <laughs> I, feel, I don't know how I can make that silly, but maybe I can find a way. I'm not trying to walk silly. I just hurt. All right. Don't know everything. But now we know this. Thanks for listening to The John and Heidi Show. John and Heidi. Now, big screen, little screen, brought to you by ChannelSurferTV.com. Uh, the big game that happened on Sunday, the, one of the big winners there was uh, the, the ads. And apparently, uh, according to the internet, Melissa McCarthy, Booking.com ad was one that was really good. Uh, some of the, They had a lot of celebrities. Another one with John Travolta, where he was singing Summer Nights. Uh, other celebrities that came in, Snoop Dogg, Steve Martin, Sylvester Stallone, Alicia Silverstone, um, Amy Schumer, her. and Anna Ferris. So uh, if you haven't seen those, I do have a link to a place where you can see all of the uh, ads from the Super Bowl uh, in the show notes for today at johnandheidyshow.com. Speaking of that, there was a commercial 
for Batman potentially returning to the DC multiverse. There was a, an ad, uh, the first trailer for The Flash dropped, featuring two different Batmans. But fans think they may have spotted a third, Christian Bale, because their appearance in the multiverse spanning superhero epic were previously announced by DC. Ben Affleck and Michael Keaton both popped up in the trailer, both playing Batman. But the appearance of another Batman, potentially, and uh, I don't know, maybe other folks know more about this, because this, this came out Sunday, and I'm sure there's been a lot of chatter. I just haven't been paying there's attention. chatter, John. There's lot lots of, of chatter. A lot of chatter. Big screen, little screen, brought to you by ChannelSurferTV.com. Do you ever get credit card offers in the mail? Those are usually the worst offers. They spend thousands of dollars mailing them to anyone with an address. The people who actually read their junk mail end up paying the price in the long run. At BetterCreditCards.com, we offer a variety of credit card options to fit your needs. Whether you want a credit card to give you cash back or points and perks or a credit card to help you build your credit, we probably have it at BetterCreditCards.com. Give yourself a little credit. BetterCreditCards.com Now your scoop of the day comes your way courtesy of BetterCreditCards.com I have to ask Heidi a question because I don't know the answer to this. Do you toss a dryer sheet in every time we do our laundry? I do not. I didn't think so. I've not seen dryer sheets, but I thought maybe they were hidden somewhere. Uh, She's my wife, by the way, for those of you who didn't know that. Uh, It might be a time to leave that habit behind anyway. Some experts say that those dryer sheets are doing more harm to your clothing than they are good. They're also doing harm to your dryer, and they're doing harm to the entire planet. Patrick uh, Richardson, the laundry guy on Discovery Plus, says dryer sheets don't actually make your clothes any softer. It might feel that way due to the fact that the sheets are coated with a chemical solution that transfers to your garments when they're heated up, But that residue builds up over time and contributes to clothing and towels smelling musty and stale after they've been laundered a few times. Says the film also builds up on your dryer and that can help make the appliance less effective over time. And it does increase your utility bill as well. What's more, the dryer sheets themselves become litter. That can't be reused in any way. Uh, They don't decompose easily. They say try wool dryer balls instead, which are more sustainable option, and they can be reused for years. Do we have wool dryer balls, Heidi? We do not. What do we do? We just dry it with nothing in there? Like a bunch of peasants? Like peasants. Wow. I I quit using them when I had read that they um, could cause fires. Oh, so. well, see, that wasn't even in the story. And scientists have found that men with beer bellies are statistically more likely to have weaker bones. There's no more to that story. Okay. You'd think there would be more to that story. <laughs> uh, a report says the typical symptoms of stress are eating too much, impulse buying, and driving too fast. This just in, I apparently suffer from a lot of stress. <laughs> All of those symptoms, I'm pretty sure I have. All right, scoop of the day comes your way, courtesy of BetterCreditCards.com. If your plan for the new year involves getting your financial life in order, I suggest you start with your mobile phone bill. How much do you pay every month? If that number is more than 15 bucks, it's time for a Mintervention. Mint Mobile makes it affordable and easy to switch. Get a new phone or bring your current phone at Mintervention.com. You can see the current special offers from Mint Mobile, offering premium wireless for just $15 a month. That's far less than most people are paying, just $15 a month. Learn more now at Mintervention.com. That's Mintervention.com. It's time right now for Dear Dear John John Letters. Letters. All right, here's our Dear John Letter, Heidi. Uh, It's Valentine's week, so I knew we'd have like a lovey-dovey letter. Here it is. Uh, Dear John, I spent another Valentine's Day single, so I just signed up for my first ever online dating site. It seems weird to me. I'm in my late 30s. Most people on here have probably done this before. I was just on there now, and I noticed that I matched with a guy from high school. He used to make fun of me in high school and caused me quite a bit of anxiety and pain back then. I've always thought of him as a bully, but he seems different now. He reached out, and based on his message, he seems kind of sweet now, and we really do have a lot in common. High school was 20 years ago. My mom thinks I should probably give him a chance. What do you think? How should I reply to him? Do you think he even knows that we went to high school together? Should I mention that? Thank you. So very single. So I'm going to yield the floor to Heidi first. Ladies first. What do you think here? Oh, you absolutely should mention that. And if he really has changed, he'll apologize. You know what? I think that's a really good idea. Um, You should say, you know, I'm really surprised to hear from you, actually, based on the way that you treated me in school and 
let him take it from there. Yeah, and hopefully he'll say, you know what, I am so sorry. Um, I was going through whatever, whatever the reason. I don't understand why bullies bully other than I know this. And almost every single time, the person who's bullying is being bullied by somebody else. That doesn't make it right. That makes it really bad, but it also makes it really sad. So you don't know what he was going through at the time. Again, again, really doesn't make it right. And Mm -hmm. I'm not trying to make excuses for any kind of bullying because I think it's bad. Don't do it. It's bad, bad, bad. (laughs) What? Don't do it. Don't do it. It's just a bad idea. (laughs) Well, it's crazy. And nowadays, uh, it, it is even worse, I think, because of technology. Back when I was a kid, if you wanted to pick on me, you had to find me. <laughs> no, you can do it online. Exactly. I'm just saying, it's not, I don't think that's good at all. But uh, we'll go back to this. So uh, in late 30s, I've been out of high school 20 years. Have you changed in the last 20 years? I bet the answer is yes. Yeah. So hopefully this person has too. And like Heidi said, I would absolutely remind this person and maybe just say something like, you know what, it's really good to hear from you. Um, I mean, it'd be super awkward if you don't say something and you start dating and then he figures out later, he's like, he's like, sees your yearbook or something. And like, Wait a minute. That's you? Did we go to school together? <laughs> Aren't you that lady? <laughs> but you know what? Maybe that's the way you remember it. Maybe he doesn't remember it that way. I, we recently, and I don't say recently because it was a couple of years ago. A couple of years ago, we watched a documentary called Cobra Kai. Okay, it's not a documentary. <laughs> But it's a, it's a TV show. It's a great show. It really is. It's based on Karate Kid. One of the things that was fascinating to me is you're seeing it from a different perspective. When we watched Karate Kid, Johnny mm-hmm. was the bad guy and Danny was the good guy. Right. Well, Johnny was in Cobra Kai sharing the story how Danny showed up at school and was mean to him. Right. And then it was showing scenes from the actual movie that he did do those things. I'm like, Wow. It's a whole different side of this story that I never thought of. Right. But it was absolutely fascinating that they did it that way. So, again, um, when you're saying that he picked on you, do you not remember? Maybe there were some things you did, too. I'm not saying you did. I'm just saying it would be great to reach out and just say, hey, I remember from school. You used to pick on me a little bit. You remember that? And uh, hopefully the words, I'm sorry, come out. Maybe even I'm so sorry. <laughs> That would be really, really Hopefully nice. Hopefully he just doesn't pick right up on bullying. <laughs> yeah, so that's why I'm reaching out. Four eyes. Uh, I can't imagine that's going to happen. You never know. I just, not trying to make light of bullying, because again, it's terrible. Don't do that. It is not good. Um, again, if you would like to submit uh, an answer to this week's Dear John letter, it's on our Facebook page. It's always anonymous. Nobody knows who this is. Uh, I've even had people reach out to me to say, hey, was this from so-and-so? I don't tell ever, 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 ever because we tell people it's anonymous. So I'm not going to tell who it is. If you would like to... I'll tell you. No, you will not. She doesn't (laughs) even know most of the time. Sometimes she does. Uh, But if you'd like to submit an answer to very uh, So Very Single, you can do that at facebook.com slash John and Heidi Show. And if you would like to submit your own Dear John letter for next week or the following week or whenever... You can do the same thing at facebook.com slash John and Heidi Show. Thanks for listening to the John and Heidi Show on a Thursday. Do you ever get credit card offers in the mail? Those are usually the worst offers. They spend thousands of dollars mailing them to anyone with an address. The people who actually read their junk mail end up paying the price in the long run. At bettercreditcards.com, we offer a variety of credit card options to fit your needs. Whether you want a credit card to give you cash back or points and perks or a credit card to help you build your credit, we probably have it at bettercreditcards.com. Give yourself a little credit. Bettercreditcards.com. Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? Apple seeds are poisonous. Yeah. Oh. Don't eat the apple seeds. I had no idea. Yeah, poisonous. Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? Your hair grows faster in the morning than it does any other time of the day. Really? I don't know why, but it does. Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? One in 20 people have an extra rib. Huh. Interesting. Um, I checked. I don't. But I do have an extra McRib. So that's not good. Wow. It's right here. That's so stupid. I know it is. Hey, fun <laughs> fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? Black bears are not always black. The black bears can also be brown, cinnamon, yellow, and even sometimes white. Wouldn't we just call them white bears? <laughs> <laughs> who's, who's naming it? Who's naming them black Maybe bears? Maybe just call them bears. Oh, my goodness. And our final fun fact for What's you, that, Eddie. John? The original name for the butterfly was the... 
Butterfly. No, Flutterby. <laughs> yeah, the butterfly was originally the Flutterby, and then they changed it to the Butterfly. There you go. Now you know. Thanks for listening to The John and Heidi Show. If your plan for the new year involves getting your financial life in order, I suggest you start with your mobile phone bill. How much do you pay every month? If that number is more than 15 bucks, it's time for a Mintervention. Mint Mobile makes it affordable and easy to switch. Get a new phone or bring your current phone at Mintervention.com. You can see the current special offers from Mint Mobile, offering premium wireless for just $15 a month. That's far less than most people are paying. Just $15 a month. Learn more now at Mintervention.com. That's Mintervention.com. Time now for the Mint Mobile Question of the Day. Yay! It's brought to you by Mintervention.com. Question for you, Heidi. Employers say this happens more in the first week of the new year than any other time of the year. What is it? Hangovers. Uh, Probably that too, but no, people get fired. Probably because of hangovers. (laughs) All right. Mint Mobile question of the day comes your way, courtesy of Mintervention.com. Do you ever get credit card offers in the mail? Those are usually the worst offers. They spend thousands of dollars mailing them to anyone with an address. The people who actually read their junk mail end up paying the price in the long run. At BetterCreditCards.com, we offer a variety of credit card options to fit your needs. Whether you want a credit card to give you cash back or points and perks or a credit card to help you build your credit, we we probably have it at BetterCreditCards.com. Give yourself a little credit. BetterCreditCards.com. Now, some weird news brought to you by WeirdGiftOfTheDay.com. Would you agree to suffer a bit during surgery if it was better for the planet? No. Experts recommend doctors reduce their use of certain types of anesthesia to combat the effects of climate change. So, Dr. Mohammed Fayed said uh, he's a senior anesthetist. I'm pretty sure I nailed that. At Detroit's Henry Ford Health. Uh, made the suggestion during the American Society of <laughs> Anesthesiologists, <laughs> uh, their annual conference last week. Uh, he admits that doing so would only have a small benefit to the environment. Okay, why are we even talking about yeah, it? This is the most but, ridiculous thing I have ever heard. But it will add up, he says. An anesthesiologist should consider lowering the flow of anesthetic gas without affecting patients' care. They say studies show that inhaled anesthesia accounts for up to 0.1% of the world's carbon emissions, and an hour of surgery using inhaled anesthetic is the equivalent of driving 470 miles in a car. So mm-hmm. You can just stay away from yeah. me with that nonsense. If I, if I need surgery, I need to be knocked out. So, <laughs> yeah. you know, and if you, if you don't want to do that, just get a hammer, something, anything. Goodness Weird gracious. news brought to you by weirdgiftoftheday.com. Time now for the list brought to you by BetterCreditCards.com. I've got uh, enough of this. This probably be today and tomorrow. Jobs to avoid, according to a Reddit thread. Warehouse work. Coworkers are tired and overworked. The pay is not very high. They're saying it's dangerous because you got all these tired people moving around with heavy equipment and stuff. Um, oil industry. They say it's a roller coaster career where you're job hopping and moving and often looking for your next job. Film industry. They say there's no job security. You get a job for a season of a show, that's good, but then maybe it's, you know, a couple months later that show's done and it's bad. Um, lawyer, it says, unless your family owns a law firm, I have four plus years in the business and I'm still trying to find right connections to actually get in the business. So apparently not just having a law degree is going to be enough. Hmm. That's kind of interesting. And one other one, physical therapist. They say it's a doctoral degree now with all the costs associated you're going to spend anywhere from forty-five to one hundred and twenty thousand dollars just to get the degree, and then it's really tough to get a raise once you actually have that job. So, wow, okay, interesting. I've got the list. You can see it in the show notes for today at johnandheidyshow.com. If your plan for the new year involves getting your financial life in order, I suggest you start with your mobile phone bill. How much do you pay every month? If that number is more than 15 bucks, it's time for a Mintervention. Mint Mobile makes it affordable and easy to switch. Get a new phone or bring your current phone at Mintervention.com. You can see the current special offers from Mint Mobile, offering premium wireless for just $15 a month. That's far less than most people are paying. Just $15 a month. Learn more now at Mintervention.com. That's Mintervention.com. Time now for the quote of the day. It comes your way, courtesy of insurancechicken.com. Quote today is from Ron White. I think he's a funny dude. I actually saw him in person. Very funny guy. I have not seen him. I believe that if life gives you lemons, 
you should make lemonade and try to find somebody whose life is given vodka and have a party. <laughs> <laughs> I agree with that. <laughs> that is really funny. All right. Quote of the day comes your way, courtesy of insurancechicken.com. John and Heidi. This portion of the John and Heidi Show is brought to you by the John and Heidi Show. That sounds kind of funny, but it's true. Go to your local radio station and ask them to start carrying the John and Heidi Show. Here's the best part. They can carry the show for free. They play a couple commercials, but it doesn't cost them anything every month. So if you know a radio station that could use a little bit of help, send them our way. Send them to johnandheidyshow.com. Again, johnandheidyshow.com. We would love to do a radio program in your community. Then you could listen to the podcast and listen to us on the radio. John and Heidi. We always like to wrap things up around here with good news, and I think this is good news. comes your way courtesy of radiotravelgroup.com. Uh, I think we mentioned it before, but there's a contest going on there. A uh, trip to Mexico. That's you can get right. All of the details at radiotravelgroup.com. We also have a link, by the way, at johnandheidyshow.com. So if you forget that, if you go to our page, you'll see it there as well. Uh, here's the headline. He's saving me money and helping. Boy sells fresh eggs to a local bakery. This kid's 11, and he's got quite the bright idea here. I love this. Courtney Johnson is the owner of Sweet Anna's Bakery in Dallas, North Carolina. And she has been struggling lately as prices of eggs have gone through right. the roof. Well, Riley Robbins and his family have 21 chickens. They produce about 19 eggs per day. His father recently posted on social media about having a surplus of eggs. Well, Johnson saw the post and said, hey, I'd like to buy some. I'd like to buy all of them. He had posted that Riley Robbins had some eggs and the egg prices just kept going up every, every week. And he said, I couldn't do it anymore. So I reached out and said, hey, I'll take as many as you can give me. Says the highest I've seen has been about six to seven dollars a dozen. Wow. She said about a grocery store egg uh, prices they're getting higher and higher, and this guy's cheaper at just three dollars a dozen. Robbins wow. is happy to be earning some money with the egg sales. He's saving money and helping, and he says, uh, "She says I love him. He, thank you so much, Ryland, for all the help, and thank you for helping me make money." He replied. So this kid is eleven. And he's selling eggs to a local bakery from chickens that he raised. How cool is Good that? Good for him. That's I think fantastic. that's really neat. And here's the thing I got to say. I bet there are more things like this happening than we know about. And if you do need things like eggs and whatnot, utilize social media. Just go on and say, I did this once. I was looking for farm fresh eggs and I posted and I found out I know about 40 people who do farm fresh eggs. So... If you're looking for that kind of thing, don't be shy. Just go on whatever social media you use with your circle of friends. You probably know some people that have them. Again, you can find this story in the show notes for today at johnandheidyshow.com. Time to say goodbye, Heidi. Goodbye, Heidi. Goodbye, everybody. Have a great day. Thank you for listening to The John and Heidi Show.